This place, you know, Puerto Rico is our home and we like to make mosaics. It's what we like doing best. And if, we, if we're doing that, we're, we're mega happy. My name is Roberto Villaggi. Uh, I was born in Mayaguez, Puerto Rico a few years ago. And I've been doing art since I was a kid. Eventually, I studied architecture. And about 20 some years ago, I met a partner called Celso Gonzalez. And we started a business together. So we had to get incorporated and we decided Celso and Roberto was Cero. We do a lot of uh, architecture and painting, etc. but we based our work on public art, especially mosaics, because mosaics are forever. That's, that's what's cool about them. We start a mosaic uh, with a digital art. We work hard on the computer designing this digital drawing. That drawing is translated onto the wall. Once the drawing is on the wall, we break the ceramic tiles, and then we go over the drawing specifically with the colored tiles. And then we literally print the mosaic on top of the drawing, tile by tile. We wanted to do an homage to this lady that was back in the 60s, the mayor of San Juan. Fela was a fancy lady with the big fans and the big pearl necklaces, and she was a, a gigantic lady. So we did a gigantic art. The face is about 10 feet by 10 feet, just the face alone. Another really cool project, two faces of Lin-Manuel and Miranda in Hamilton, like two characters. And then we see his grandfather's face. And one of the things I like most about public work is that anybody out in the streets can see the art. You know, you don't have to go to a specific place. It doesn't matter what neighborhood, if it has art, it does a great thing for that little corner, you know. So we've seen how public art has educated people about the relevance of, of art. Maria was extremely rough. It pretty much devastated the whole island. We, we kind of got to see the island broken apart, you know? A lot of people started helping out each other and that was like the, the nicest thing that came out of Maria was seeing people not giving up and actually like kicking butt, you know? This is Caña Martin Peña, one of the poorest areas in San Juan. It's a really dense area. We've had a relationship with these people for years, doing our mosaic work for the community. Mi nombre es Vicente Cepeda Félix. La familia mía vivimos aquí casi 80 años. O sea, cuando María empezó, pues yo dije, a lo mejor no pasa nada, la casa mía aguanta. Cuando empezó a soplar el viento, yo me asusté porque todo se iba y la casa empezó a temblar, las paredes a temblar. Pues la casa quedó toda destruida, todo se perdió. This is Vicente's house. We're doing a, a roof for him. We've done 20 some roofs in this neighborhood. We take out, you know, the old structure completely, and then we build a brand new roof from scratch. And we attach it as solidly as we can to the original structure. So they should stand 100 mile an hour winds. And that's the mission, and it feels great to help out. Me siento muy agradecido. Y aún con lágrimas, pero puedo sonreír un poco. Gracias a Dios. Y espero dormir tranquilo cuando termine de arreglar mi casa, todo lo que me falte. OK? Eso es lo que espero hacer de corazón. Gracias. Gracias.